morning, good afternoon, and good evening out there. My name is Matty Carl, and welcome to How to Fix a Black Screen with the Slobs OBS, the Streamlabs OBS report. I am going to go ahead and walk you through every single way that I possibly can find to go ahead and help you fix this issue. I know in the last videos that you guys really didn't like them because I didn't really get to the point. They were a little bit more st satirical than what I was going for, but I wanted to go ahead and fix that now. So I'm going to go ahead and give you all of the ways that you can fix the black screen issue that you're probably having. And we're going to go over a number of things technically uh, or user error. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is Manny Carl. You're on the pause screen. We're going to go ahead. And the first thing we're going to do is you're going to right click on your slobs and you're going to run as administrator. That's right. That's probably going to fix most of your problems is by running it as the admin, because sometimes this needs uh, administrator per permissions in the background. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. That's the first thing that I want you guys to try and do to fix this issue. The next one is, is I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, where I have this. So there's down here, I have two windows. I have one, it's called Fortnite, and one that's called Xbox One. And as you can see, there's an eye here and it needs to be clicked on in order for it to work. And so, but if you have this one on and this one on, uh, the one on the bottom is going to show up. So I would highly recommend you check these settings right here. Make sure that there's nothing that is overlaying on top of them. We want to make sure that everything on our top layer is completely clear. That way, if you have something on and you're detecting another window, it's going to be so right now, because I'm not running Fortnite, you're not actually seeing Fortnite, but we want to make sure that you have these clicked because if they're not clicked, then you're going to have that problem and it's going to run into that issue. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a scene because I, there's two ways to do it. So we can actually do the window capture or we can do the display capture. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and launch Fortnite right now, just so you guys can see I know some of you guys think that it's uh, weird that a, a grown ass man can play Fortnite but it's not dude I, I love Fortnite I play it with my son he's eight he loves Fortnite as well so we're gonna go ahead and get into that but <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and launch that but I'm gonna bring up my slobs on top here and slobs is just an acronym for Streamlabs OBS so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to this scene here which as you can see, uh, has a, has, we have a black screen. This is totally a black screen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, delete this because it's, there you go. See, oh, there you go. See, see, I start because I started this after I had already started up and changed the scene. That's part of the problem. So that could be a thing that you need to fix. Just go ahead and flick on the eye, flip it on and off and you can go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up Fortnite here. That way you're not looking at the regular video screen here. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and get in there. Uh, oh, new outfit available. All right. Congratulations. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. That way you guys can go ahead and see from the start the two ways that I'm going to teach you how to do this. So go ahead and hit that plus button. And what we're going to do is we want the display capture or the game capture. So this is going to be the game capture and we're going to add source and I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here and type in Fortnite. You can go ahead and type in whatever you want and we're going to hit add new source. Now, because we're not here to capture any full screen application, this is very important that you follow this. We're going to capture a specific window. And if you don't have this, we want to match the title. So where the window is, you're going to hit the drop down. Now, as you can see, these are all of the programs that I have open right now. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and select the window we want to capture. If I select this one, it's just going to capture the Screenlabs OBS and you're going to see an infinite window. But what we want, and if you see this, it's going to capture my Adobe Edition, which I'm recording this voiceover in. But no, we want to capture Fortnite. So click on Fortnite. That's going to show up. Fantastic. That is amazing. There, there you go. Now you have that. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. It's going to add it to my settings here. And there you go. That's that's how you do it. The second option that you have, and this isn't, you know, this isn't going to do this as much as it is because there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy, but you can go ahead and do the display capture and you can click add source 
and we're just going to click the display capture. This is how I record an Xbox. And so what it's doing now is it's just recording everything that's in the monitor right now. So you can go ahead and do that, or you can go ahead and switch it over. And now you can see that it's recording my second monitor. So this is a two monitor setup. If you have a one monitor setup, there may be something else going on that I don't know about. So I'm not very, I have two monitors. I actually have three monitors, but one of them is disabled right now. Uh, so there you go. You can have that. So as you can see, this is my display capture. It's capturing everything that is on the display. And this is the window capture, everything that's on the window. Now, the one thing I'm going to show you right here is that when you have it in this area, you're going to want to go to your options and go into options and you can see windowed full screen. If it's in window mode, it's not going to show up. That's something different. And you're going to have to click and go ahead and do that whole thing over again and just go through that whole process. That's probably one of the, th the reasons why it's doing that. And you're getting the black screen is because you're not in the windowed full screen mode. So go ahead and try that. If you're in the other mode, if you're in a window mode, you may have to use the display capture, but what you want to do is just go to the full screen and make sure that you're in window full screen mode. That way you're capturing the entire thing and you're not having to mess with it or do anything. So there you go. That's display capture versus the game capture window. The next thing is, is that a lot of times you're going to need to uh, work on uh, possibly updating your graphics card. And what you're going to need to do is go in here and you're going to need to go into your NVIDIA experience and open up your graphics window and make sure that your graphics card is up to date. Uh, Streamlabs OBS works with your graphics card, but what you need to do is make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date because sometimes that can interfere with it as well. Making sure that everything is up to date, that you have everything uh, outside of that, you know, there's not too many things that are going to cause you to get a black screen. And any one of these things is going to help you resolve that. In the meantime, if you don't have it resolved, I would recommend using the display capture uh, method. If you don't, you know, in Fortnite, you know, there's uh, there's definitely many ways that you can go about doing this uh, with other games as well. I'm not going to show you other games, but this, you know, if you're, you know, all these other PC titles, they're going to have things that tell you if it's a windowed mode, a windowed full screen mode, or just a full screen mode. If it's in full screen mode, what's going to happen is, is when you, uh, uh, alt tab out to go to another window or do something like that. You're going to get that black screen and sometimes it doesn't come back. It's a very finicky program. It's still in the beta stages. So I would recommend not doing that in full screen mode. I would recommend using a windowed full screen mode and doing that as the capture. And what you can do as well is put it into window mode into the resolution that you think works best for you and then going and resizing it in this window see as you can see you can actually resize it in this window and make it so that you can uh you know do that so what you could do is you can put it into window mode put it into your you know your uh, 1920 by 1280 resolution, which is 1080, and then go ahead and resize it in this window to the resolution that you want to record at. So that's pretty much it. If you guys are still having issues with the black screen mode, I would highly recommend reaching out to at stage on the Twitter and asking her for some advice or tutorials as to how to get this working again, because there are different methods to this. I'm using a two monitor setup. Some people are using two PC setups. This is just going to work for two monitors. It may work for one monitor, but I don't, I don't have one monitor, so I can't really tell you how to get this to work. I may in the future try and get it to work for one monitor, but for right now, this is just a two monitor setup. So I'm hoping that this works for you. I'm hoping you found everything. If you want more tips and tricks, we're gonna have a whole series on setting things up. I wanna make sure that you guys are ready to stream and get you set up for whether you're streaming Fortnite, Apex Legends, or anything like that. We're here to help you get everything set up. If you have a question or comment down that you in the, you know, put that down in the comment section. That way I can get to it and help you guys out and help you guys 
guys resolve it. I'm doing a whole series on how to get your streaming set up. I did a very basic setup earlier where I just showed you exactly what I showed you almost right here is how to set up a display capture and a game capture window. So it's going to be different. You can actually, you know, we'll go ahead and cover themes in, in another topic and very shortly. That way you guys can get into that. But until then, I uh, want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you guys see when I go ahead and post stuff and then you guys will get all of the latest tips and tricks for doing this. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Hit like if I actually helped you uh, and leave down in the comments. Make sure that if you guys, if this worked for you guys or if it didn't, you know, tell it, try and give me a hint as to what the problem is. That way I can look it up and see if I can help you guys out. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'm Mounty Carl. This has been the pause screen. We'll see you guys next time. Unpause. Um,